Hey, my honey. So today we are diving right in with this frontal sewing. I'm using 40 developer because I'm about to bleach these knots and I'm using the clear all the blue shade and this is for dark to light uh, bleaching powder. I read it and I'm like, oh, this is for dark hair to light. So you don't get all those crazy um, brassy tones and all of that. But I'm mixing my um, mixture. Uh, I It was a little bit too thick so I made it watery by adding more developer and um as you can see this is a frontal but it is a full lace frontal okay my honey like have you ever even heard of that like right so usually you see in the back back there you will have that band okay and then you will be cutting that off or whatever if you was to depending on your style but this is a full lace frontal so you don't even have to worry about cutting no band off doing any of that you could pluck all the way through it and just make it as natural as possible but of course we only pluck the uh, hairline so i am putting this bleaching powder on I'm using 40 developer is straight to the point okay i would recommend 30 but 40 is okay and i let that sit for about 40 minutes i basically let it sit until i braided her whole head okay i probably went in and checked it once and between time so therefore it wasn't over bleaching or at least coming through that lace bleaching all into the hair so right here i'm gonna just show y'all how i do the braid tucking okay so the longer your hair is, when you get down to the back of the neck area and you got that long braid that you're supposed to pull up to the top, right? The longer your hair is, the best it is for you to uh, pull that as early as possible. So I'm going to show you in a second what I'm talking about. Okay, my honey, so you see how long her braid is, right? And I am braiding her pattern in a middle part because she says she wants a middle part. But guess what? It really doesn't matter, my honey, because that lace speaks for itself. And also, when you put the cap underneath underneath the lace, it speaks for itself. You could part your frontal any way you want to. But I was just trying to make that pattern. So, therefore, everything is flat and it ain't going to be no lumps in the lace when you go to use your straightening comb to kind of flatten everything out so that's just what i'm doing i parted it down the middle and um i'm going along the side so now that i'm about to do this braid once i get halfway through because her braid is so long that i could be at the top right there if her hair was that long you want to pull it up immediately okay so Therefore, in the back, back there, it won't be all type of lumps either. So, you pulling it tautly up. So, th that part is coming up, my honeys. I came in a little too early, but we ain't gonna let that bother us, okay? <laughs> Anywho, happy new years, my honey. Um, I'm trying to get this done, so I'm gonna have me a little drinky drink or whatnot. So, but, I think right here is the part where I'm about to pull it up. Right, so you see how I went midway through. I am taking that braid and twisting it. Okay, so therefore it will lay flat. You got to maneuver it around, play with it so it'll lay flat. And I'm just adding it into that braid and I'm proceeding to braid down. So, with that being said, my honeys, that's going to be super flat back there. It don't matter how many braids I do, as long as I bring them all up, you know, immediately. Okay, don't wait till you get all the way down and then try to add it, like, because it's going to be lumpy. So, um, I had that problem before, and I learned from it, and guess what? I'm here to let my honeys know. Okay, spilling that tea. Even 
right here, my honeys. I, I feel like I braided that braid too far down. Her hair is way longer. I could have uh, took that braid down just a little bit and, um, you know, made it according to how long her hair was. But I still made sure I pulled it up and did all that. So I guess it was enough space for me to be able to do that and therefore it won't be lumps. It's still flat and everything. So now I'm going off into my last braid. So I don't ever want to do this part on either side uh, of the head. You always want to do that in the middle. So you got to braid some braids on one side, braid some on the other side, and therefore you're going to connect both of these braids into one. Okay, so it may be lumpier than the rest of them. And you don't want that lump over there by your ear. You don't want that lump over there by the other ear. Like, you know, you wouldn't want it to hang from the sides looking lumpy but that back covers everything anyway if you was to pull everything up you're not going to notice that lump in the middle but if you pull it all up you would notice that lump over on the side somewhere okay even though right here it wasn't no lump okay because i made sure i pulled that hair up if you don't pull it up and, and pull it up exactly where the lymph starts i hope that makes sense my honeys but it will be lumpier and it won't be so flat back there when I'm doing my prontos and quick weaves and all that, this is how I will braid my hair, but I will braid it all the way down to the neck, okay? And I still can get a nice flat foundation on my neck just with these braids alone. But I like the fact that I added the two braids down by the neck because, um, you know, I'm going to be sewing hers in, so that's cool for me to have those little uh, anchors for the back, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the quick weave was to go, I can do two braids like that and then do the rest like this and then boom, go ahead and do my pronto. So this is a good braid pattern for anything and it is a protective style. You will be able to use this pattern for six months, honey. I do not take my braids down style to style and do all that. I keep them in, grease them real good and throw another style on top. Okay, it's just depending on how protected you had it. If you don't got glue all through there on your coming through the cap and all of that, you good. Wear them braids, honey. That's how your hair gonna grow. that cap on my honey you know how you've been seeing the videos where the girls cutting their eyes out now and having that cap all the way down over their mouth and all that that's a real thing because guess what i had a client come and she came with the egg stockings y'all remember them egg stockings they were knee highs and them things are so sheer and good they discontinued them so they don't sell them no more but i'm sure you can go just buy some knee highs and use those you know what i'm saying but since we didn't have it for this video and I had used a knee hive, I seen how, you know, it was nice and see-through. And I liked it that. So me stretching it like this, it made it more like a knee hive type of thing versus just a regular cap. That cap is thick. This cap is thick. But if you stretch it out as much as you can, you can get it to be nice and sheer. And it ain't got to look like, um, you know, you can see it under your lace and all of that extra stuff. So, yeah, right here, by the time I put the makeup on it, you won't even know that it's a cap there. It's like a bald cap. And that's kind of more of what you want. So, I'm going in. I got four different colors. Like I said, I be doing hair and I be wanting to make sure I got everybody's color. So, her color was my color, which I don't remember what color it is, my honeys. But if you would like to know, just leave me a comment. But um, I have spoke of these before, um, these little makeup kits I got from Walmart. You know, that's my spot. And um, putting that all over her cat. Now, by the time I'm done with that, I'm going to clean off the excess because you do not want to stick down any glue over makeup, okay? Once it mixes with 
oils and all that extra stuff because makeup has oil in it your lace wouldn't last okay it'll lay all right but it, it just won't last so that's how much we took off just with the q-tip because i didn't want to use the big pad to um wipe it and then her cap would start lifting back okay they number guys to be you add a little water to that it's coming off so i'm using a q-tip to be precise so i can actually get as close to the cap as possible without lifting it from the moisture of the alcohol and then i go in with a, a bigger pad and just do the whole forehead area and get rid of all that little excess makeup I count this as one layer, my honeys, but all I'm actually doing is making sure that that cap is seamless and that those little rough areas from me cutting it is not lifted. I want them to be melted to the head. So I'm using the glue, um, the lace glue, because if you use got to be glue, um, it takes too long and your cap will potentially lift back up. But that lace glue, it dries in no time. So I want to pluck her frontal uh, more to fit her face and everything i would have did this part before i would have uh did that cap down like that because that is considered a layer and it's very sticky and you don't want that uh uh frontal to stick to it and you know how you make a mess or whatever or even mess up your mold of the cap you know but it came out fine it was no biggie i'm just saying but look she started sweating she was under there sweating make sure y'all use cold air on the blow dryer if you feel hot because she almost ruined it and that one section right there uh she was sweating and it was lifting as you can see it's moving back it looked nasty like ugh, that would show through your lace right so it wasn't too far gone that we couldn't fix it so i'm blowing her with cold air to make sure it's not moist wet anything when i took that lace off this is what stuck to it which was that glue and that makeup mixture from the lace i mean from the cap that i put all together so i'm just plucking it off while it's still wet don't let that completely dry my honey because it'll be hard to get off it won't just peel off it just peeled off like rubber for real so i'm going in to fix this little area i'm just putting more glue over it and then i'm gonna put some more makeup over it and then we're just gonna have to wing it and go from there okay because thank god she did not pull the cap all the way back with the sweat and i should have asked her you know are you okay or are you feeling hot or whatever because this stuff do get hot for my sweaters so it's it's okay to sit there with a cold blow dryer and if you feel hot make sure you run that across your head because you just mess up the whole install like we would have to redo the whole cap and all of that right and that takes time in itself so any time that you can lessen this process, my honey, because this is about a three-hour process, if not more. If you don't bring the hair to me the day before, having I do everything right then and there, you better believe that this is like um could be a whole day's process. So, anywho, um, I think I did her three layers. Okay, now I'm putting her frontal on, and I'm meshing it down with the comb into the glue and everything. And I'm going to put that band on there so that it can completely dry. So while that band is on there, I'm going to secure that backside. Now, we don't have to go up on the actual hair because we don't have that band on there. We can, like, wait, you know, get it, sew it down any way possible because we got all that excess net, right? And that's going to make it to be a more sturdy sew-in as well just by keeping the net on there. So I just sewed that net down. And I ain't going to let that uh, lace bother me because once we get up there with them tracks, we're going to cover up all of that anyway. So I'm just using a blade to cut off uh, this excess lace in the front because I like how them blades do. They're kind of seamless. Okay, when you use the scissors, you see how you use them scissors for the ball cap and it has those little areas where they need to be glued down. The, the blade cuts it right off. Ain't, ain't no talking. Okay, so that's basically why I chose to use the blade. Now, everybody is using an eyebrow pencil. I would have used that as well, my honeys, but I didn't have one. So, uh, I went to her, 
So it's like, you know, I had to bring everything I could so I don't have to ask my client, hey, do you got flat irons? Do you got this? You know? So all I had was a, a real blade. Be careful. Don't even try it. Just use an eyebrow. An eyebrow archer, my honeys, it works just the same. And it's very seamless. I told you my honeys I did the sew in you see how it came up and it all connected okay so we ain't even gonna let that bother us but that's a nice front though it's called a full lace front toe okay and I'm loving it because it is very it's already flat in the back you ain't really gotta use a straight to comb to do this and that to get it flatter but I'm doing it just so that it would blend with you know the uh, actual tracks or whatever I'm gonna use the straighten the comb and go in and make sure everything is seamless and that is my she is bomb wax stick um, that I will put on the hair as a heat protectant and also it helps to lay that hair flat too okay gets all them little grooves out of there and just make it nice and flat okay my honey so we're gonna bring everything back and then we're gonna start focusing on getting her middle part together and you know decorating everything and then you want to go through each section with this hot comb to make sure everything is nice and flat my honeys because you see this front okay i didn't even go in and pluck the part or nothing but if you do that okay it saves you a lot of time as far as all this heat okay if you just go in and kind of pluck all you gotta do is run it straight in the comb one good time and it's gonna be flat but um or the mousse, my honeys. Remember, I used to use the mousse. I used to do the whole mousse thing. But I make sure that part straight. And since I do have the straightening comb, which, my honeys, make sure y'all check out my Amazon store down below. Because I have all these products in there for the low. So you can just go and order it. And then that is that bed head um, hairspray. It works just like got to be to me. There's no difference. I don't even know the price range difference. Got to be maybe cheaper. But they work just the same, and that's all I had. I don't really have no more guys to be, so and I just went and picked up two more bed heads. So that's what we're going to be rocking with, my honeys. But you see I'm parting through it, making sure everything is flat on each side. I'm going to do that for each side of the part, and you will see the difference just from the one side, how flat and laid that is versus the other side is like poofy. So that's all we want, my honeys. And all I did was cut her two little simple baby hairs, swoop them on back, and voila. <laughs> okay, so this was her first time wearing a wig. And I love for people to try new things, my honeys. I think it looks gorgeous. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And at this point in the video, <laughs> I will see my honeys on the next one. Uh, 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 uh. Bye, guys. Love you guys.